I'm, I'm ready for the big leagues. First and foremost, I just want to say you have set the standard for content creators. Yo. Um, you're my inspiration, and you actually inspired me to start a clothing business based on your TikTok transitions. <laughs> uh, I was born and raised on Naruto, so when you stood out on TikTok with those transitions, uh, man, I just tried to follow you, learn from you, and do what I could. And now being in front of you in this space, I'm, I'm humbled to be here and ask you some questions. Ah, so same. I too have some questions as a creator. And um, I know with what you're doing, um, I'd like to know some tips on how you stay in your creative space to create content like that. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's honestly been one of my big uh, challenges and goals uh, from last year and moving forward is how do I stay creative and um, and to be honest, the biggest thing for me is is not trying to force that creativity on me. When you when I originally think about how all my original ideas came came to my head was that it was never forced. I you know I never felt the pressure to put on myself to I need to create something. I need to create something. Um, sometimes the best ideas just come when you're sitting on the toilet or sitting on the couch. You know, <laughs> like just just randomly. It just it, there's never a, a good time, but. That was one of the things was never to force myself you know at a time i'm feeling panicked to create you know step away from your computer is one of my things step away from the space uh so allow the space to kind of settle down because your energy that you bring in your creative space this is me personally it if you bring in that energy to this creative space that you have and it's just you in it then you're not going to get much out of it um, so, especially when you're a type of person that just relies on just thinking randomly and, you know, something to come up and hopefully some good idea pops up. So if you're that sort of person, then I always say just step away, let it sit, you know, relax a bit, then come back to it, you know. Um, if you can't think of it in that moment and you're getting frustrated, then just move away, then come back. Um, the second thing is, is that uh, how to purposely uh, ideate and how to come up with ideas and stay creative. Um, and that's just... Uh, learning some techniques uh, on how to ideate. There are some techniques that I've always used. Uh, this is from my time at Zero and learning with Pat, if you ever get a chance. And I don't know if he still uses it, but I find it absolutely useful. And it's a, it's a great tool. It's called De Bono's Five Rules. Um, if you ever get a chance to, to look at that or read his book, I think it was more for management, but um, it's so transferable to this creative space and how to come up with ideas. And if you ever get a chance to look at those uh, rules and how to apply them uh, into your creative thinking and how to come up and generate ideas, I guarantee you it, it's so awesome. Um, I think I'm trying to ask you a question is like how to come up with creative ideas and how to stay creative. But that, those are the first two ways. Um, one is stepping away from your space, learn how to purposely think through uh, an idea and then the other one is that just watch whatever you like, you know, like go watch. You know, if, if you are trying to create for, you know, a particular thing, like for me, if I'm trying to create for like an action video, I'm going to go watch anime or go watch some fighting Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan sort of movie that I love. I, those are my inspirations for all my fighting stuff. So I go watch them, you know, and then it's not to take you know, ideas or mirror what you're doing. It's just to take inspiration and like spark ideas, you know, it's, it's another way for me that I've learned to start a first for 10. Uh, it means that first 10 is your your first ideas that come into here. There's no stupid idea. The best way to come up with an idea is to just put it on paper. And everyone usually gets that first idea. And for instance, if we're saying, yeah, let's create a fighting video right now. What's the first scene or what's something cool that you want to see? Everyone's probably got an idea in their head right now. And they're probably scared to say it. The best thing to do right now is to write that idea down yeah. and then move on to the next one. Just, just, just get it out. Just get that idea out. Especially if you're in a room of people, um, if you've got a group of people that understand that first, yeah. that first, that first, first idea is probably what everyone else is thinking, but just too scared to say it. Um, the problem is everyone's trying to think of that idea and trying to build on it. It's trying to better. It's a battle in their own head. You know, they think that I'm. Everyone's thinking. I'm looking. They're probably looking around at everyone in the room like, "Oh, this is a stupid idea. I need to come up with something better." Um, the best thing to do is just put that first idea down and then work on to the move on to the next one. As long as you got it down, it's out of your head. Now you can work on the next one. 
that's just that's just how the other brain works and the human uh, the human brain works and and i feel like it's always worked in my favor when i've actually just put things down on paper and just progressed and then once you got this list of things then you're like cool, like, cool. here we are in the creative space